Hello, this is Yakov Fein with Farada Systems, and today I'll show you how we can generate JavaScript with XJS on the front end, middle tier in Java, uh, and any persistent layer on the back. We're going to be using our latest uh, release of Clear Data Builder, which is basically a port of our popular product that used to generate only Flex front end with Java. Backend now it generates JavaScript and XJS from Sencha. Front end, Java in the middle, and persistent layers. To start the process, we need to open up Eclipse for Java EE. In there, I need to generate, I need to create, configure a new server where I will be deploying things. In my case, in this demo, I'll be deploying it on a Tomcat from Apache. Finish. It'll create it. It'll create a server for me. Now I will generate a dynamic web application, as, uh, uh, which is supported uh, from the shelf by Eclipse for Java EE. Dynamic web project, let's call it, no, let's call it CDB, CDB X, for example, and targeted for Apache in my case, click on the button modify, and It'll, I'll say that I want to use Clear Data Builder for XJS. I have this plugin installed on my, uh, in my Eclipse. In this case, you see that we, I'm using two facets. One of them is called a sample project facet, which you will not be using if you will be creating a real project. In my case, I want to show you uh, a sample application that will be generated right in front of you, which will consist of company and associate, master detail relations. I press the button next. Next. Can't as a CDBX. All right. Next. Now, persistence. We support three ways of persisting data. Manual persistent, which I will be doing now, assumes that you as a Java developer are responsible for writing your persistent layer. Do what you want. If you want to use JDBC, if you want to use some web service calls or whatever else you like. It's, uh, in, a, in my case, I'll be using manual persistence, but for the demo purposes, we just have in-memory collections like ArrayList, which stores data about, uh, comp about companies and their associates. If you want, you can use MyBetis, which is a very popular, nice data mapping framework, which we like. Or if you want to use uh, Hibernate, we also support this. But today I will just do manual persistence. Next. Where is, where is my XJS, it asks me. XJS for, I think, it's over here. This is a framework from Sencha called XJS, and I press the button Finish. So it created for me a project, and immediately it starts the end script to build it. Now it also generates the front end uh, based on the annotations that we put in the Java classes. That's it. So the the build is finished, the project is ready. So what I need to do, I need to deploy it under the server and then I'll show you something, what was actually happening, what was generated. To deploy, it's pretty simple. Right click on Tomcat, add the project, the, the one that we just created and plus something was generated automatically. So this is done, deployment is done, starting Tomcat. Tomcat starts with deployed applications and now what I will do I'll go to I'll go to localhost where localhost 8080 what was it CDB X the project see now it opens up a screen with two grids so I see I have a grid on top I can load it so the data come from the Java side so I have two companies these companies were hard-coded, as I said, for this demo. For other systems, show the employee, we see master detail relations. You have, you can click on another row, Sentry company shows other employees. Now I can add data if I want. Our system keeps track of all the changes that are happening on the client and we can send them over for automatic synchronization. And we are using the API provided, provided by XJS framework called XDirect. So say I want to add a new company, I press the button add company, let me call it, say Oracle, 
And I want to add an associate or two, John Lu, and another one. As you can see, IDs are also uh, generated. All these little red uh, triangles in the corner shows you uh, Mary's Mary. Well, let's say Manson. Uh, all these little, little triangles show that there are some changes that are not committed. Now I press the button Sync, and the data are committed to the server side. I can reload the data. I see the company, click on the company. All the companies are there and their associates. All the data was saved as a batch. We support transactions. We can send a batch of changes from the server, from the client side to the server for further processing. Also, what we did, what we do over here, we generate um, unit testing sc script. And what was it? Is this was it was test HTML? We are using. Java and uh, Jasmine a unit testing framework for the for test for unit testing of uh, JavaScript. As you can see, there was a whole bunch of tests that passed in this case. So the demo is the, the application works now. Let's spend a couple of minutes just to see what exactly is happening in the code. In the code, we have a Java project as I as I showed you before. In the Java resources, there is a code that we used to generate uh, the to generate the classes on the front end. So this is something that we, you would need to write Java DTOs and Java services. That uh, in my case they are using companies and associates, of course. But you would need to write something on your side. And uh, what else? Um, like interface. Well, the, the point is, you need to annotate classes properly. There is not too many annotations that you can use, and the whole code is generated under the web content directory. You see the the main uh, the main file index.html that is using uh, XJS, as you could see over here. It uses DJN, which is the implementation of XDirect. And of course, it has the application itself, which is generated using the uh, recommended by XJS way, using a model view controller. So all these classes are over here. So as you can see, the initial generation is pretty straightforward and fast. In the next video, I'll show you something more uh, realistic when we will be saving data in the database using one of the frameworks. Thank you very much for watching.